Hi, I'm Jade and today I'm going to be doing the seamstress tag. I've seen that a lot of the people in the whole me made, handmade wardrobe community thing, the seamstress tag ends up coming up and I actually find that that's my best way of finding new people. I've subscribed to quite a few uh, ladies on here who I just think are fantastic. Yeah, I wanted to do this video because you know, I feel like it's a good way to get to know your fellow seamstress. I love seeing seamstresses do the seamstress tag. It's just a great way to get to know your community and everything. Let's get started. <laughs> question number one, who are you? I'm Jade. I don't know how to answer this question. I'm 22. I'm about to be 23. I am a college student. I don't know. I'm Jade. I'm me. I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> So question number two. When and why did you start sewing? I really started to sew when I was 15 because I didn't have money to buy the popular clothing which was skinny jeans and all I had was bell bottoms and since I'm very small and I didn't grow much I ended up not being able to get new clothing because I had perfectly good clothing. So I took my mom's sewing machine. My mom's a quilter so she had one. I would just sew my jeans skinny. I didn't do it any proper way, I just kind of went at it, I pinched my legs, pinned it on the outside and figured it out from there. I started sewing for real when I was like 15. The first thing I made was a green tutu, I, I'll have to insert video of it because I still have it. It does not fit anymore, has no stretch, I can't get it over my butt now, but I really wanted a green tutu and I wore it to school and I didn't care what other people thought and they thought I was weird, but whatever. I am still proud of it and that's why I keep it. I would never get rid of it. Question number three. What is your favorite or proudest make? I'm the type of person, as soon as I make something new, that's my new favorite thing. This is my most recent and proudest make. I'm not gonna show it full length because it's going to be in my makes video. I just finished it. I had shown this fabric in my March plans but yes, I just, I'm in love. This is my favorite thing ever. This is my um, favorite and proudest make. I'm sure the next thing I make on my makes list is going to be my favorite. This will probably be for a while because it fits me so well. And I don't mean fits me in a, it fits my body, of course it fits my body, I made it. But fits me, fits how I feel as a person right now. It captures the essence of my being. I'm actually gonna probably make more of these because I love the way it just wraps. Question number four, what's your most disastrous make? There's been quite a few things that I didn't like so I didn't finish, but I wouldn't quite call them disastrous. It was more, I fixed them and I hated them. So for, for a while I sewed for part-time job. My most disastrous make, not because it was made improperly, a customer of mine asked me to make a dress and I made it and I made it exactly like the picture she showed me. I, I, I did what she wanted. I hate it. It's so unappealing to me and I know everybody has different styles and fashion but it was so unflattering. It was it was pretty much a pillowcase with a skirt attached and it was so unflattering on the mannequin. I didn't think it looked good in the reference photo but I mean She's getting what she wanted. To me, that's my most disastrous make. Question number five, what's your favorite place to go shopping? I've only been there twice, but the Garment District in LA is my absolute favorite place to shop. I am a cheapskate and I hate expensive fabric. It makes me feel like the project's not as great when the fabric was expensive. The Garment District, there's a shop in the corner of it where everything's $1.99. They have so much nice fabric for so cheap and the width of the fabric is so wide. It's usually like two yards wide so you can get so much fabric for so little and it's nice quality. Like this fabric I got for four dollars because I got two yards of it and I had enough for a full circle skirt, enough for the full wrap and sleeves and everything and this dress literally cost me four dollars. That's ridiculous and I love it and that's why my favorite place to shop is the garment district. When I can get out there, I live about an hour outside of LA so I don't get to go there that often because I don't like to go for one thing. I, If I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make a trip of it and I wanna be able to spend like, okay, 
a hundred dollars. I go, I go kind of crazy, but I only do it like once for two years, so. If I'm not going to the garment district, my favorite place to buy fabric is the thrift store. Now, I make a lot of things out of bed sheets, duvet covers, comforters, pillowcases, a lot of things. I just go to the sheet blanket section of my favorite thrift store, and usually there's a lot of great things. Most of my clothing is bed sheets or fabric, because they do have a small fabric section at the thrift store of fabric that has been donated to the thrift store. Usually those ones aren't fabrics that I necessarily gravitate towards, but when there are ones that are nice, I grab those. I grab bed sheets. I'll show you a couple of the bed sheets I got, and the fabric is beautiful, and it's just plain cotton. A couple of the things in my makes video are going to actually be made from sheets, so I'll, I'll let you know when they're sheets and when they're stuff like that. Funny side note, I just got into watching Gilmore Girls and I really love the show and everything. And you know, I was just watching it, going about my business. A set of sheets that was Luke's that are this, I have a skirt made of out of the exact same sheets and I just find it hilarious. I have sheets made from Luke Dane's bed and I enjoy it. That makes me happy. Now that skirt's just so much more special to me. Question number six, what is your most used pattern? I'm gonna use this term loosely because I've only ever used one pattern. Well, one and a half, like this. I consider the half because I only used two pieces and I altered them so heavily. I've only ever used one vintage pattern, but I haven't really gotten into them. I'm more of a draper slash drafter because patterns don't tend to fit me. I'm four six, I'm four foot six inches. Four feet six inches converts to about 137 centimeters. And I am 137 centimeters. So I'm very short, I'm very small. Even if I look kind of more curvy and everything, my height is what's my issue. So very seldomly do I find a pattern that I feel is worth it to do all the alt alterations when I can just whip it up on my dress for myself because I usually can figure it out. There's rarely something that I can't draft or make myself. I will put the name of the one pattern I have used. This is the only thing I've made from... I'll add a picture somewhere right here or right here or somewhere of me wearing this and this is the only item I've made strictly from a pattern and I even altered the collar and the neckline. Yeah, that's the only thing I've made pretty much only from a pattern and it was a junior's pattern so the waist hit me pretty nicely. Everything was small enough on me for that so that has been the only pattern that's really worked out. For me, I've tried a couple others but I never ended up finishing them. Yeah, that's the only pattern I've ever really used. I would reuse it. I plan on reusing it because I love that pattern and I've been really obsessed with 40s lately. If you can't tell, that would, I guess, be my most used pattern because I used it once and I actually wear it. Question number seven, what is your most dreaded sewing task? For me, I'm trying to think, what do I hate? I hate cutting out fabric. It, it annoys me. So I guess my most dreaded sewing task would be cutting out whatever I'm cutting. I hate most things hand sewing. Nope, that's it. I hate most things hand sewing. If I can do it with my machine, you'd better know that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not a fan of the, of the hand sewing. I, it annoys the crap out of me. I don't know why. It's like if I have to loop a needle and do something with my hands, I'm angry. I hate, so I will sew on my buttons with a machine. I don't care if it takes twice as long to set up the machine to do that. I will use my machine. I admire Angela K Clayton costumery. I'll put a link to her page. She is an amazing, beautiful costumer who I admire because she does so much hand stitching and God knows I could not do that. And she does beautiful hand stitching with beadwork and ugh. I drool over her costumes, by the way. You should really check her out. I don't mind putting beading on hand stitch twice, but when it's just like tacking something down or something, oh, I hate it. I hate it so bad. I hate it. Okay, you get it. I hate it. <laughs> Number eight, what is your most favorite sewing task? My favorite sewing task has to be, I guess, getting to the point where I can try it on and see that it fits perfectly. <laughs> just putting on a new piece of clothing and knowing you made it and it's going right and everything, even when the hem's not done, and but you can see where it's going and you're just all giddy and happy because it worked out when it when it works out and you just look in the mirror and you're just like it's beautiful it's my most favorite thing ever and then you don't want to finish anything because you're just too excited and you just want to wear it you wish you could just not hem it there's been a few times where i haven't hemmed something because i was like i just need to wear it already yeah getting to the point where you can try it on and see how it actually looks that that's got to be the best 
sewing task for me. Number nine, what is your favorite sewing entertainment? I love watching the Me Made community videos. Anybody who posts videos like plans, make, ideas, usually I would just watch the three like big sewing channels because I didn't know that there was this cool little community and I've always loved YouTube but I always wish there was more sewing stuff and then I found this little community through Instagram of all these women who make all these wonderful things. The first person I found was Lisa from Sew Over and I got addicted to her videos and I kept seeing recommendations to other people's channels. Now I probably follow about 50 people from the Me Made community. If you post videos, leave a comment of your username and I will go check you out because I could watch any seamstress and it's soothing to me to hear them talk while I sew. I will just have them on my TV and I will just binge watch people's videos while I sew. It keeps me in the sewing mood. That's my favorite sewing entertainment. If I put on movies or show, I end up looking too much at it. I mean, Gilmore Girls. I can do Gilmore Girls. I was doing that for a good month and a half. The person I, I most recently was binge watching, aside from Lisa, was a Little Miss Lorraine. There's quite a few who I do watch and I just started watching Hobbling Handmaids. She's adorable and oh, also Gabardashery. I really like her. She's fun and she's energetic and I really love seeing her videos. The whole Me Made community is my favorite entertainment while I'm sewing because it keeps me in the sewing mood and when I see what they're making then I might get ideas for what I want to make in the middle of the crappiest part of sewing. Seeing their makes is like, okay, well I can have makes and that's a fun thing to look forward to and they look happy with their makes so I know I'll be happy with my make. I really will watch any seamstress because I just find it so entertaining. Question number 10, printed or PDF? I'm not a big pattern person. I have plenty of patterns because I get excited at the idea of patterns but then once it comes down to it they never fit. They're always too long, they're always too big, they're always too something or other. If I had to choose, I mean I have all printed but I do really want to get some PDF patterns from Sew Over at London because her patterns are so cute and even though I've only used one PDF, I'd have to say PDF because you can get it now and then you can get it from anywhere like from London I could just print it out and have it. Question number 11. What sewing machine do you use? It's a Singer Heavy Duty. I started off with Singer and I have a vintage Singer table so that just made me feel like I can only use Singer but they're not the greatest machines. I've struggled with them a lot and I've had four Singer machines. All not that great. I have my eyes on Brother. I've heard a lot of good things from Brother so I may be switching. to. I do love my Singer. It gets the job done and it does what I need to do. It's just not the best machine but the heavy duty one works much better than the other one I had and she gets the job done so I still love her even though it kind of breaks down a little. Question number 12. Do you have any other hobbies? Why yes I do. Other than sewing I love to do photography. I actually did a lot of photography. I'll insert a video of some of my framed photographs. I do really love photography. I love carpentry. I, I did carpentry in high school and I really fell in love with it but I haven't really been able to do much carpentry and woodworking since I haven't had a shop to work in. I have a birdhouse which I will also show. So carpentry when I can is great. I'm a multi-crafter. Pretty much I just like DIY a lot. Like with sewing I make my own hair flowers when I do wear hair flowers but I love some origami. I do origami paper stars for good luck and I do a lot of weird hobbies. I'm a hobbyist. I don't know if I'll do anything other than sewing on this channel, but I might if anybody is interested. I really enjoy my other crafts and hobbies and stuff, so yeah. And this video is going on far too long. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you thought it was fun. I love seeing other people's seamstress tags, so maybe you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, anything you want. Tell me some stuff. Let me get to know you. Have a nice day. Bye. I mean, I don't mind. I'm not offended by some cleavage. My hair. My hair, it's its own woman. She's independent. She's gonna do what she wants. And I let her. Someone's walking by my room. Thank you. Goodbye. Shh. Oh, sleeves. Makes her feel so fancy. Oh, I'm a hobbyist. Yeah.